Sex trafficking is happening in Rhode Island. That's the word from victim advocates meeting in Lincoln today alongside members of law enforcement. Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Kilmartin reports that human trafficking nationwide is generating $150 billion every year. New at 630, Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yocono shows us what's happening to understand who's involved and why. As members of law enforcement from throughout Rhode Island met in Lincoln here today, they learned more about the three types of people involved in sex trafficking. There's the victim, the perpetrator, and also the buyer. So they targeted those kind of places. Dina Graves stands before an auditorium filled with law enforcement. More than 44,000 victims were identified last year. She travels the country advocating for victims of sex trafficking and came to Rhode Island after hearing about recent arrests of men reportedly using the website Backpage.com and a Warwick motel for the sex trade. I think there's a lot of victims out there that are still very hidden, but the good news is it's starting to be uncovered here. She cites an FBI report where a nationwide sting netted 281 suspected pimps and 168 rescued children in one week. While law enforcement has the tools to track online sex trafficking, I asked Graves what the public can do. She says, speak up if you suspect something. The average life expectancy for these children is just seven years. It's our own American children. Just take the risk. Let law enforcement waddle through and figure out if it's really real or not. Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Kilmartin wants the people driving the demand for the sex trade to also face punishment. We need to hold those people accountable that are willing to be customers of these poor kids who are getting taken advantage of. Another part of the discussion here today was an understanding to treat victims as victims, regardless of their age, not as criminals. With the Mobile Newsroom, Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News.